What's up StarCraft fans, the patch is now live, that means it's time to read the patch notes. So there are a lot of them, so let's get started. Patch 5.0.3, new observer interface added, Pro 2020. Yeah, I've seen these. It says this was the one used at War Chess Team League. It looks really nice. I like this one. I don't play 1v1, but yeah, this looks good. Good job, Blizzard. Co-op missions, part and parcel. The mission timer now starts with 90 additional seconds. This is awesome. Part and parcel has been uh, one of the uh, least favorite or least popular maps in co-op. Partly because the timer runs by very quickly and General Davis, of course. But yeah, with the additional seconds of time to look for more parts, this should be a lot easier for more players. Scythe of Amon, the Warp Prism for the bonus objective, will now announce its planned path 20 seconds before moving. This one's nice. Usually it's not a problem for me learning where the Warp Prism will go because yeah, usually we follow a set path every time we play this map. And uh, my initial my initial reaction is, well, that's not the issue of this map. The issue is that the Warp Prism spawns too early, not that it goes to uh, the middle of the enemy. We already know where the Warp Prism will go. The problem has always been that it spawns too early and goes out too fast and is very stupid and stuff. Next, this one's, uh, this one's where the fun stuff begins. Shadow of Death Prestige for al -Arak. This prestige has been reworked. The mothership and its destroyers no longer received reduced stats. Oh, thank you. Thank you. This is awesome. I love this. Summon Death Fleet Initial Cooldown Removed. <laughs> we, can call, we can call it done right away. So, Summon Death Fleet now costs 400 400. So, this is huge. So, this costs something like the same thing as a, a Super Gary for Stead Boy. Except uh, fewer minerals and more gas. So, ima I imagine that if I want to use this prestige as Alarak, I will have to rush out my gas right away and even delay some of my tech. Just in favor of having a second hero out maybe earlier. Yeah, this sounds uh, this looks really cool. Summon Death Fleet no longer comes with three destroyers. You may now warp in permanent destroyers from the mothership. So it's gonna be like um, Han and Horner's galleons. You can warp in destroyers straight from the mothership. It's good. We reinforce right on the field and we don't need a Stargate. This is awesome. So uh, how I imagine this will be used is once Alarak gets up his 16 ascendants or however many you, you personally like to get, the rest of the supply will be in destroyers. Yeah, this is fine. I think I can even do some sort of uh, hero solo run with it with Al just Alarak and the mothership. Maybe there's some sort of... Uh, yeah, with the mothership, Alarak can now teleport anywhere that he has an allied unit on. So th this, is, this is good. This is good. I like this. So Artanis now starts the game with a power field deployed. Ooh. Ooh, this could be uh, interesting because usually I like to place my power field in such a way that I can place down 16 structures powered by a single pylon. Call it Artosis Pylon if you want, but Amon doesn't target those in co-op. So yeah, that's what I usually do. Nexus Legate Prestige. Power field's energy cost increased from 10 to 25. Yeah, fair. I think this is fair. The uh, Nexus Legate has been really strong, and with the later on in the game, I usually don't spam out the power field anyway. So I'm usually floating energy, so yeah, I think this is fine. I'll have to test it out myself to see if 10 to 25, this is basically a 150% increase, a total of 250% now, is too steep. Maybe it should be something like 20 or 15. But we'll see, we'll see. The Haka, Brood Brother Prestige. The Haka and Zwei Haka's maximum life are no longer reduced. Awesome! That has been my number one complaint. That it's, if one of them dies, both of them die, and their stats are reduced by 35%, it's a lot easier to lose them both all the time. So yes, I actually like this one. This is this, this was awesome. Zoihaka's life bar is now a different color from the Haka's. Awesome. I approve this one. This was just a straight buff. I love this. I love this. Phoenix. Talish's Ricochet Glaive ability cooldown 
Decrease from 10 seconds to 5 seconds. Cool. Buffs always nice. Unwavering Vindicator Prestige. Name two Unconquered Spirit to more accurately suit the commander's lore. Okay. Yeah, okay. Kerrigan. Malevolent Matriarch. Now grants Queen's full movement speed off creep. Queens may place creep tumors off of creep. Oh, creep tumor vision increased. Oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. Yeah, I like this. Now, if they made this, uh, if they gave the creep super cloak, like they do with Nova and uh, Nova and uh, Zeratul with Anaxun, yeah, this could this could be really good. As it is, it is really good right now. If they give it super creep and make it untargetable by enemies, it'll be even better. But as it is, you can place creep tumors in a uh, in a way that the enemy will not see it as they path through the map. You can, if you know the, uh, the attack patterns of the map, you can just place down creep tumors with random queens in such a way that they will not be detected or you can just... Yeah, now that queens have full movement speed off of creep, you can just place down creep tumors anywhere and give yourself all the creep highway you need. I think with this one, you need only like one or two queens and you can probably creep all of the map if you are uh, on point with it. Arcturus, Toxic Tyrant Prestige. Contaminated Strikes bonus damage decreased from 100% to 25%. Nerf, I think it is warranted because you remember in that video I did with Arcturus, I just spammed out the, uh, the uh, Contaminated Strike. It did, it did a lot of damage and it can actually kill stuff, even air units. With this, it will no longer hard counter air units. But I can still spam it. I can just, yeah, call down over and over again. And now I suppose I need other units to take advantage of the feared enemy units, but I can still pretty much uh, keep them um, keep them feared as my units gun them down. This is good, this is good. 25 may be a little steep, but I'll have to test it out. Nova, Soldier of Fortune Prestige. Reworked such that it now reduces the unit charge times on the first production structure. An elite uh, on the first production structure. Okay, but factory and starport are tech are required. Are yeah, back is required for factory and starport. So regardless of regardless of what uh what units which what units they go for, it will always be the barracks that has its uh that has its charge time removed. An elite unit is built from instead of the barracks. Right, but oh oh sorry I didn't read that fully. An elite unit is built from. So I can go factory here. I can go barracks factory starport, but it will only reduce the charge times on the structure I first build from. Okay. Okay. This is good. This is good. So, I will have to change my build here a little bit, but I can actually mass liberators now. It's awesome. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. This one sounds this one sounds like I can uh, expand using the uh, the turret. Expand using the uh, yeah, the turret thing. And then rush up to liberators. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm liking I'm liking this prestige a lot more now. I'm liking this now. Tactical Dispatcher Prestige. Now increases the cooldown of the Griffin Airship by 300. Okay, straight buff. I approve of this. Straight buff. So you can still use the Griffin Airstrike, but its cooldown is way longer. In addition to... I, I think a lot of people are sleeping on this Prestige. I too was sleeping on it first, but... When I saw that you, your army can basically be everywhere... Yeah, I've, I, I, I've come to like this. I've come to like this Prestige. Mobility is amazing in co-op, and if you can, if your army can be everywhere, and your army as good as Nova is, and you can escape if you if you get surrounded, that's awesome. I have no problem with tactical dispatcher. I never had, but I guess I never had after I tested it, and now this one's even better. I like it. Backwater Sheriff Prestige, named the Backwater Marshal to an, uh, to more accurately suit the commander's lore. Okay, that's fine. Rebel Raider Prestige. Tech requirements for the Armory and Orbital Command have been- Oh, I can go Orbital first! No more barracks required for Orbital. 
I can go orbital first. Just bank up 150 minerals and <laughs> go straight to orbital. Oh, this is awesome. This is awesome, guys. Oh, I had to test out the numbers here to see whether it's worth going straight to orbital or waiting for... Uh, or doing my usual build, SEVs first, into orbital. I'll have to test out some builds here. This is good, this is good. And the armory, oh, I like this, I like this. I no longer need to build a factory anyway, just to get the armory upgrades. This is good, I can go straight to starport and then armory. No need for a factory. Good, this is good. Stukov, Rightful Flesh Welder Prestige. Now additionally increases the rate at which infested siege tanks generate ammo by 200%. Oh, it's even better now. This is... Le, fla, frightful Flesh Welder Prestige is amazing for Stukov. I can, I can usually mass Diamondbacks here, no problem. But now that the Siege Tanks also generate the infestant faster, this is awesome. I can now supplement my Diamondbacks with Siege Tank on maps like Minor Evac and Dead of Night. This is good. Plague Warden Prestige. Infested Banshees gain a load all button. Good. Infested Banshee pickup range increased. Also good. Okay, this is a straight up buff to Plague Warden Prestige. As I mentioned last time, I've been looking for a way to make Plague Warden Prestige useful. There are a few main problems that I highlighted. One of them is that the Banshees don't have a load all function and you have to, and you, and you have to box select the individual infested to load the Banshees. This has been specifically addressed. I asked for it, I got it. No complaints. Really good. Good job, Blizzard. Infested Banshee pickup range increased. Also good. One that one that I didn't ask for, but one that I wanted. Because yeah, you can just you can just pick up more dudes by using the load all function. I think this will Im this, this will uh, uh, drastically improve the usability of the Banshees with Plague Warden. However, another issue persists. I've been testing it out. I've been testing Plague Warden in various maps. I find that the Banshee still moves a little too slow for my liking. And I found that in most circumstances, just rallying the infested across the map is better. Uh, is better than uh, using the Plague Warden Prestige, loading them, into, loading them into, into Banshees and then dropping them off at the other side because the Banshees themselves are not very fast units. And you have to sync your APN into moving the banshees across, picking up units. I mean, this will be easier now, but it, it takes it takes attention, right? You have to uh, consciously move your banshees across, load units, move them back, then use the unload. So that's four that's four times the action of just moving your uh, moving your side emitter to rally your infested across. It does that automatically. So what I would like here, this is good, these are all good changes. I'm just saying that for this to be really comparable or even be better than just rallying units across, the Banshee could use a speed upgrade. I initially thought that a straight up hyper jump, a tactical jump ability for the Banshees would be most useful, but that's, I, I, I understand it's not a Stukov thing to have tactical jump, but a, a hyper flight rotor upgrade for for Stukov's banshees, maybe one of the one of the uh, tech log upgrades, would be awesome. Maybe my my actual thought was that what if the uh, the Overlord speed upgrade from the command center from the defense command center also gave banshees increased movement speed? That I think would be the most elegant solution without adding more upgrades and stuff to the tech lab. I think that would be the best way to go about this. These are both good. I want to keep these both, but. An additional change that I think would make Plague Warden a lot more useful is to have the Overlord speed upgrade apply also to Banshees. And again guys, I've been mentioning this twice, I mentioned this a few times before, but I think it's better to have the load function on Plague Warden on Overlords instead of on Banshees. I think it just makes way more sense, but again, uh, it's there so just gotta use it. Set Boy, Oil Baron Prestige. Mecha lot Locusceptor is now better for the best oil. Nice, it's nice, but you know. I think it still isn't noticeable enough to be uh, be spammed. 
I think the best unit for Oil Baron is still the the uh, Ultralisk, followed by the Lurker, since they have splash damage and they kill multiple units at a time so you can really see the buff. Swan, Heavy Weapon Specialist Prestige. Laser Duel Splash Damage increased from 50% to 1%. Ooh hoo hoo. Okay. Okay. I didn't realize that the splash damage was actually only 50% of base. So now that the, the splash damage is doubled, I could probably test this out on more maps. I think maps where the enemy tends to clump up, like Oblivion Express, Rifts to Core Hall, would benefit from this prestige. Laser Jewel Movement Speed Reduction increase on- Oh, okay. This is big. 50% to 70%, so basically, the whole attack wave will be rendered immobile, and air waves will, be, will clump up even harder, because the laser jewel will target the ones at the front, and the ones at the back will move closer in, and they will also get splashed on, until the entire wave is slowed down. Laser jewel lock on time reduced by 70%. Okay, I have to try this out. I have to try this out now. Yeah, I just wish they made the, uh, the splash radius bigger. But with these, with these improved stats, I think it can be comparable. Of course, I would still prefer, personally, to have the Pulse Cannon and the Concentrated Beam. But I'm, again, I'm willing to give this a chance. Let's see, let's see. Halo Director Prestige. Science Vessels gained a Hyper Jump. Oh, hoo hoo! Okay, when I tried, when I tried Halo Director as Swan, one of my main problems was that, yeah, I can, ju I can jump my use across, but... The second they did, they died because they don't have healing. So this will well, this will fix that problem. Also, uh, now that the prestige, now that the science vessels get the hyper jump ability, I wonder if there are some some science vessel cheeses I can do with a laser jewel, for example, dead of night. And again, science vessels cost a lot of gas, so probably not, not probably not a smart idea. I'll probably just use the uh, the uh, Hercules either way. Yeah, I think this is fine. This is fine. Top bar cooldowns are increased by 50% dollars from 100. Okay, this is good. Yeah, the 100% was extremely punitive. But I think 50% is fairer. Then again, I would like I would just want to have the pulse can every time I need it, to be honest. I mean, this is an army-based prestige. You wanna have your army move around and kill all the things. And uh, yeah, the uh, the the offset is that you will now also have to move them back to defend even more because you won't have the top bars available when you uh, get attacked from a different angle. So yeah, that's probably what the use is. Anyway, uh, don't feel very much either way regarding Payload Director. Heavy Weapon Specialist, I kind of like the change, but overall, yeah, I still think that it's better to have top bars, but again, I'm willing to give this a chance. I will test them out. So don't worry, I will test them out. Tychus, Lone Puppy Prestige. Outlaw bonus damage changed from a flat 75% to 30% per outlaw recruited. Okay. So now this incentivizes getting more outlaws. Hmm. <laughs> okay, guys. I just thought of something. What if I use the outlaw... Recruitment, the, out, the Outlaw cooldown mastery, and call down all 5 Outlaws, so 30% per Outlaw recruited. So in the late game, you can have the 150% additional damage, even if you're using just Tychus. So yeah, this incentivizes players to just get more Outlaws out, but I can keep some of them in base and still have Tychus alone just plow through the whole map. Sirius' Warhound turrets and Vegas dominate. Oh yes! Haha! <laughs> in your face, Dean Bell's always supporting Pulse Cannon tier. He was he was uh, he was teasing me last week that the uh, the Lone Wolf Prestige will force me to stop using uh, Sirius so early. Haha! <laughs> in your face, Dean Bell. <laughs> because yeah, the initial the initial thing was that the Warhound turrets are uh, are uh, not benefiting from the Lone Puppy Prestige. So now that they do benefit, I can use it again. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Awesome. I love it. I love it. So, yeah, I will definitely try this out. Probably on longer maps so I can use all outlaws and 
try to get that 150%, including Taika. So yeah, 5 out losses by 30% is 150%. Awesome. Awesome. Vorzun, Withering Siphon Prestige. Combat unit damage reduction decreases from 50% to 25%. Enables all Vorons. <laughs> Enables all Vorons control effects to apply to heroic units. Mm, okay. Okay. So time stop will now completely stop hybrids, is that what this is saying? And the confuse and the uh, the dark coil will apply to heroic units. I mean that's fine, but yeah. Uh, this is this is indeed uh, pretty useful. The combat damage reduction increases twenty five percent, twenty five percent. Probably useful for small waves. I would use this for regular maps and on stuff like maybe Dead of Night. Minor evac. Once where the targets are easy to kill and there aren't any big, big targets. Like, yeah, wouldn't use this in part and parcel, just because I need that damage output against the uh, against the uh, the Mobius hybrid. Definitely not using this on rifts to core hall, void thrashing, oblivion express. Yeah, those require a lot of firepower to bring down the objectives. Thinking of other objectives, maybe chain of uh, no chain. Of, that's, a lot, that's a lot of hybrid at the end. Hmm. Yeah, this seems like very much a uh, an infested oriented prestige. So I think I'll still use this only on those maps. Maybe Temple of the Past. Maybe use Black Hole more. Maybe. I think. Yeah. Okay. I will give this a chance. Like all the other prestiges, I will give this a chance. But I think this is still not quite enough because twenty five percent reduction. It's a lot of reduction, especially when you get a bigger army. You suddenly realize that you are doing less damage. And the uh, the damage from the uh, the uh, disruption web 20 per second? Yeah, isn't quite isn't quite enough to make up for it. Although that being said, again, I will test this and Maybe it, maybe I'm just under maybe I'm just underestimating it. You know, maybe it's actually better than I thought, better than it reads. Yeah, I will I will give this a shot. Maybe this pre maybe this prestige is actually really good. Let's see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. The Garos Life and Energy Region Mastery now applies to Queens. Ooh. Mastery orders been just okay. The, yeah, yeah. The main complaint was that Scourge Queen disables two of the Garos uh, Masteries. The Life and Energy Region. Uh, the Mastery set one. Mastery set three. And uh, the second one, yeah, I think it was the second one, uh, forces you to pick only one for for the uh, the second mastery. I think. Anyway, life energy region measure not, not applies to not applies to queen. So set one, Zagar damage versus Zagar queen and life energy region. Okay, it is good. This is good. With queen energy region, I can spread creep even faster. I wish this. I wish this. Uh, this came with the uh, creep generation ability, but I think this is fine because, yeah, with more with more queen energy region, I think the maximum is fifty percent, fifty percent something like that. With that, uh, with that mastery, I think I can now spread creep, add tumors way faster, and I can creep them up. Yeah, I think this is be this is be this is good for Zagara. I think this is good. This is good. I'll just mass queens and use uh, this mastery for uh, making my units move faster. Zergung Evasion versus Intensified Frenzy. So if I have Zagara, I'll use Intensified Frenzy. And uh, if I have Scourge Queen, I'll use Zergung Evasion. Yeah, I'm basically funneled into this mastery and this mastery. But hey, being funneled is better than having none of them available. So not complaining. Bailing Damage versus Road Trap. Again, funneled into this if I use Scourge Queen. But hey. Better something than nothing. Also, it is good that I can have both Zergon Evasion and Bailing Damage. If I'm using Scourge Queen, yeah. Again, no Intensified Frenzy, no Roach Drop, and uh, no Zagar Damage. But you can have the Queen Life Energy Regen if you, if you select Zagara's first Prestige. These are all good. I like these all for Zagara. I want to test them out as well. So guys, do let me know which commander changes you want me to test out first. And uh, yeah, I will do that. So bug fixes. I, I skipped the editor because I don't really do the editor that much. So yeah, I just just imagine they're all good. I I don't really know what I'm talking about, and I'd rather not, you know, 
uh, talk about editor when they don't really know what, what to say about it. Fix the crash, always good. Tap here in bridge, good. Yeah, fixing crashes. Okay, yeah, I like these. Campaign, I have started doing them. And I guess these will be helpful, but I'll read them later. Because, uh, yeah, this is about co-op. And yeah, fix, it, it, it feels like most of these were typos, reworded, reworded, reworded. Now toasts, uh, yeah, the toast timing. Toast timing. Okay. Okay, this one I saw Loco do, and I did warn him that the buildings will, the buildings destroyed in the uh, the post mission cinematic, will count toward achievement. So yeah, this is good, a definitely a good fix. No longer fail if you use certain top bar abilities. This is a good fix, definitely a much needed fix. Big superior diplomacy. I saw Loco fail this because he had the reconstruction beam loadout. Ha, <laughs> that's funny. Okay, this is a good fix. Definitely agree with this. Achievement disintegration doctrine. Will no longer sometimes erroneously not be awarded. Okay, okay, this is good. Achievement one shot one opportunity can no longer be completed by nuking your own use. Eh, okay, this is this is fine. Co-op missions. Donnie Vermillion will no, no will no longer use his text to speech. <laughs> yeah, that that third was funny. It doesn't sound like Donnie Vermillion. I want I want Donnie Vermillion back, guys. <laughs> all right, all right, it's fine. Boombot Mutator no longer interacts with Transmutation Mutator. Hmm, eh, I guess. Yeah. That would have been a funny cheese uh, before. Just have both Boombot and Transmutation, and uh, when just sacrifice a unit to the Boombot, it'll turn to a Zergwing or something. That would be funny. The Limitless Prestige. Abathurs ultimate are no longer able to evolve with 100 biomass with this prestige. What? They were? I don't think it was. I don't think they were. I think they do. They did require. Remember the test I did? They did all require 200. So I'm not sure what this is about. Yeah, definitely a bug. But I don't know. It feels like they're just reinforcing how slow, uh, how slow they want Abathur's ramp up to be. Okay, I guess if that's the direction you want to take it, I'll just not use the, limit, the limitless at all. Alarak will no longer occasionally fail to prioritize sacrificing supplicants. Relic Quarry of Souls. Deployed War Prisms cannot be from Relic Quarry. Is this the same as Artificer of Souls? Or Artificer of Souls? I imagine, right? Yeah, I think it makes sense. Okay, deploy- okay, this is fine. So you can actually mass War Prisms. Yeah, if you want to do memes, you can do mass War Prisms, sure. With, uh, with Artificer of Souls, or Relic Quarry of Souls. Alarak can no longer- Alarak no longer announces death phase off cooldown. With this prestige active. Okay. Yeah. Valorous and Sprayer Prestige. Alarak's cooldown reduction mastery now works additively with its prestige, similar to Planet Degree. Okay. Okay. Not complaining. Adjusted the tooltip for the gene mutation chance mastery to indicate that the bonuses are now additive instead of multiplicative. Okay. Brood Brother Prestige. Doi Haka. Now correctly abase the Hakka's dense rally. Oh, was it an issue before? Okay. Uh, thank you, Blizzard, for fixing this. I didn't know this was an issue, and now now it is fixed. Thank you. Anand Horner's prestigious. Now fully names the commander instead of just Horner. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is good. Yeah, it's just some text fixes. They just added some text renaming thing to make it seem like they did a lot more than they actually did. And they did do a lot. They just added, uh, they just added more text to pad the stuff that they pad their uh, achievements list, you know. Hot and Horner's prestige, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wing Commander Prestige. This prestige no longer erroneously reduces Hot and Horner's star point use middle costs. Ah. Oh well. I thought I thought I used to be able to still spam out the uh, the Mirror Han units with this, but now that the middle costs are all are back to where they were. I guess I won't be able to do that, but still, I think it's. I still think that's pretty good when you're able to mass horde units. You will still want them for, uh, or you know, being uh, beefier and stuff. Carax, change the Merkle text emanating from Solar Forge. Okay, yeah, just more text changes. Fix an issue where the unity barrier that proc. Proc. What does that mean? While benefiting structures. 
Character's Chrono Boost Mastery now correctly increases attack speed benefits for structures. Okay. Both both are fixes. Good, good. Fix an issue where immobilization waves animations would not play. Yeah, I noticed that. I noticed that especially with Desolate Queen. Fix an issue where Assimilation Aura would always state that it benefits from Desolate Queen prestige. Okay. Okay. It's good. Folly of Man. Aww, oh, I like I liked that once. Oh, no fun, Blizzard. Fix an issue where the visual for the ability persists after Kerrigan dies. Fair, fair. Fix an issue where no or two lines. <laughs> yes, yeah, I noticed that one. That's that's fine. Infantry armor upgrades not correctly increase. Infantry help by ten percent when researched. Oh, was it? Oh, is this a buff? I'll have to test this out again, guys. I'll have to test this out again. So I wonder now how much the uh, the fire butt's health will be at full upgrades. Okay, guys, I think I'll test it again. This is good. I get to test this stuff again. I like I like the backwater marshal or backwater uh, sheriff, whatever it's called. Yeah, I like this. Rough Rider Prestige now manages the 10 additional life cost. On okay, so this is a stim now. I will need to heal them up when I stim. I can't just spam stim and expect them to live through it. Yeah, it, it is a stim now. Heavy weapon specialist prestige. Okay, that's fine. Deconstructive Nanite's ability has been restored. Yay! <laughs> Some guys have been complaining that this ability was removed, and now it's back. It's back, guys. I just wish they fixed the stat drone hotkeys. Come on, guys. I've been asking for a fix on the Stetman Drone Hotkeys for a little year. I know that it will still conflict Repair with Burrow, but I can just remap Repair, since re Repair is something I can just right-click onto, rather than use the Command Card 4. Come on guys, please. Please just fix the Stet Drone Hotkeys. I, I want my return cargo back, please, Wizard. Please. Come on. Just, just this once. I've been asking for this fix for a year. A year! Come on, Blizzard. It's not that difficult. Please just fix that bug. Come on, Blizzard. Tychus. Technical Recruiter Prestige. The Grenade Cooldown Mastery now interacts additively with Prestige. Okay, that's good. That's good. This Prestige now correctly reduces Nox's Ultrasonic Pulse Cooldown. Yeah, good. All good bug fixes. Oh, no longer uses the main minimum map icon as Tychus? Okay, that's fine. Keeper of Shadows Prestige. With this prestige active, Time Stop now correctly benefits from- Oh! Oh, this is awesome! Yes! I love this. This was- I, I was actively complaining about this. So, note, remember that in my in my Vorazun video, uh, Vorazun's uh, Time Stop was reset back to 5 minutes with the Keeper of Shadows Prestige. Now it, now it will uh, be back to 4 minutes, which is awesome. Ah, uh, this is good now. Okay. I, I very much approve of this prestige now. I will use this a lot more. Withering Siphon. Time stop no longer prevents enemies from taking damage from this prestigious effects. Mm hmm Okay. Okay, just just a buff. Just a just a fix. Just, just, just a good fix. Apparently uh, under time stop, the uh the enemies don't take damage from Withering Siphon. Splash damage. Now, now, now they will. It's good. It's good. Mother of Constructs Prestige. This prestige now correctly upgrades the stats of Burnt Aberrations. Okay, good bug fix. Okay, these are all these are all these are all nice changes overall, uh, and I do like them. And I can't wait to try them out, guys. Do let me know which changes you want me to try out first. And I hope you enjoy that. Thank you for watching. If you have an idea of what else I could do, and which changes I should try out first, please leave that in a comment. Again guys, I'm still looking for partners to do the Asia server mutations with. Again, having commanders on the Asia server is not required. I can get you those levels. I can, I can Cradle of Karak's grind you those levels. Just let me know. If you have a decent latency to the Asia server, and if you can play and own various commanders. Alright guys, see you.